In 2023, I have some big financial goals and I'm gonna be working every single week to meet those goals. I'm doing it on Transfer Tuesday where I take any extra money, save money, any money I can find from random sources and use that money to get closer to these goals. I found over the last couple of years that small steps and consistent steps week to week are what really helped me achieve my goals personally. Um, I found that the little small steps lead up to big wins and that is something that I'm carrying over into 2023. And today I'm gonna to share what small steps I took to get closer to those big goals. If you're new here or you missed it, my 2023 goals are to save up $3,000 in cash for a Disney trip for my family. In addition, I'm going to max out my Roth IRA for $6,500 and I'm going to contribute $20,000 to our home savings fund for a down payment for our next home. So basically close to $30,000 in savings of various forms, one that's gonna get spent this year, one that's for the far, far future, and then one that is for in the next couple years whenever we do end up moving. So those are our goals, both short, long, and medium term. And today I'm gonna to work on getting closer to them. So let's get started. So the first goal is saving up for Disney trip. And that is something that we've already planned, we're already doing, we bought plane tickets, but we are trying to save up like $3,000 in cash for some parts of the trip. So we're aiming for $3,000 and I have a little goal set and I'm trying to save that up. And last week I had gotten that to $275. This week I did contribute to this and I put in $100. So $100 went in toward this goal and that brought us up to 375. So that's the Disney trip and that is of course our shortest term goal. That is the thing that has to be funded first and the thing that we are doing first out of this list. But I do like to do like some travel goals and saving for short term things and trips and vacations because I've heard from a lot of people like of a certain financial guru that follow him that you can't really do vacations or fun stuff and you have to focus super, super, super hard on like one goal. That's just not my style. I found that you can totally do um, multiple goals at once and you can do fun things while you're also paying off debt or investing or building a huge amount of money for something like a house. There are ways to do everything and you don't have to sacrifice your lifestyle or having fun just to hit financial goals because you only get one life and why why make it suck just to hit some number in the bank, right? Right. That's not to say you shouldn't be responsible. You should, let's be responsible. So now let's look at our responsible goals. So the next goal, which is the responsible goal is maxing out the Roth IRA. And maxing out my Roth IRA for the year is going to be 6,500. That's what you can contribute in 2023 to these retirement accounts in the US. So, so <laughs> um, the amount that I am putting in my Roth IRA is not a lot today, but it is a, you know, a decent chunk because I am doing this weekly all year long. I decided not to rush and max it out at the beginning of the year. And this did contribute based on the plan that I made and just do it every single week for the whole year. So that's kind of the goal here. I am gonna have a few of these like smaller weeks for now because I know I can put more in later as well. So last week we were at $100 and that was 1% funded. Then today we are adding $75. So we are adding $75 and that brings us up to $175, which is 2% funded. So that's nice to have 2% done and to have another little circle marked off on my chart. Next goal, whoo, the big one. So the house savings fund is basically adding money to what we already have, which we have a decent amount. We've been, last year we did $10,000, we have other money. So we do have some money saved. And this 20K is really just to get us up to like the real goal that we wanna hit for our total. So $20,000 is the goal for 2023. That's a lot of money, but I'm also gonna be working on it all year. And I do have some ideas and plans for that for later in the year to kind of hit that really hard. But for now, we're just working on steady progress. So we were at $213.71 last week. And that was where we had started our first week of the year. Pretty good, right? Like I was happy with it. And then I did notice that I had some money that was in the general savings account that hadn't been distributed to my down payment fund. So <laughs> was money not accounted for? So I moved that over. So I transferred that and that was $22.86. So, I mean, that's what I mean by transfer to. So like any money you can find anywhere that hasn't been accounted for somehow that's like missed your system or money you've saved by not spending it. If you're doing like a no spend challenge, I know a lot of people do those in January, things like that. Anywhere you can find money, Move it on over, bravo. So 2286 went in and then I did have some referrals. I am now funneling referrals to this account and you know what, $30, let's, we'll take it. So $30 from referring apps that I use and then 
I also put $100 into this account. So basically I put 100 into Disney, 100 into the house, and then 75 into my Roth IRA. So it's pretty equal, honestly, of the amount of money I put into all three goals. And that's probably gonna be continual until about the middle of the year after Disney. And then we, are, we'll, we will be hitting uh, these other ones a little differently. But for now, we're probably gonna be doing about the equal amount each week until we knock out the Disney one and then we will progress a little bit further on the others. That's my plan, we'll see how it goes. Um, I change my mind a lot, but as long as I'm making steady, consistent progress, I'm really happy. So a little bit over $150 went into the house fund today, which means we are ending this week at $366.77. For the second week of the year, I feel really good with all of these numbers. I feel like they're all in good places and I'm really excited to continue the progress throughout the year. I think it's going to be a really good year and I have a lot of uh, hope and optimism about this year and continuing to make all of the consistent steady steps I need to make in order to hit all of these big goals. I think it's possible. I know it's possible because I've done it before. So I'm really excited and I'm really excited also to eventually get to the point where we're like looking for houses and I get to share that process and maybe even share some of the houses we look at on this channel or things like that or transitioning into owning a rental and also owning our own home so having two houses like I feel like it's going to be a really big life change and I think I would like to share that more on the channel um, because it's something we've been working towards now for um, a while so we'll see I'm really excited about it but that is a ways off for now. That's it for me today. If you watched this far, write down below, um, hopeful um, or stay hopeful because I am just, I'm feeling very hopeful and I know a lot of us start out the year with those big feelings of like hopefulness and optimism and like everything's amazing. I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna transform and it, it feels so good and you're just like running on these nice new feelings. But that can fade and for a lot of people it fades the first week and then for the rest of us it fades after like that first month and um i just hope that we all stay hopeful this year and that it is an amazing year i hear my baby so i gotta go okay i'll be here next week working on transfer tuesday again um and sharing our progress on our goals i'll see you guys then bye